Atari. Co Mystics. Atari Vault. And welcome to walk this gameplay video of Atari Vault on the fly. Here we're playing a very. Well, it's interesting, kinda, in its concept, but this has been done before. However, by far, this one's been one of the better of its kind, and that is... Atari Vault is a... Well, let's just say it contains a hundred Atari games. A classic Atari games, both on the Atari 2600, as well as... How do you get there? Ah, uh, there's just two smiles. Uh, both on... Uh, both on arcades, uh, like Atari arcade games, as well as Atari, um, as well as Atari, uh, 2600 games, which is the Atari console, which we all know and love. Um, oh, that's close to my mouth, I'm sorry. As you can see, there's a hundred of these games. What in the world is that? Back, back. Where I click? Nope. Arrow keys? Nope. Okay, I know I know I can do it ballistic. Um Okay. As you can see, they have famously recreated all the Barks art and all the uh, and all the that thing, yes. Oh that's two, that's not good enough. Combat one, my favorite Atari game of all time. And it's in this game. And also what's even better is this little button down here. I wonder what happens if I press uh, if combat selected. I wonder, I mean, you know, there, there have been many, you know, there have been many combat, you know, I played the, I had the original combat game, but there's one to play it with. I got combat on, uh, I got combat on, back in the day, uh, back in the day, like, I don't know, like 2009, 2010, something like that, Microsoft released a game where you basically had your own arcade, you could set it up how you wanted, no, see, fan, okay, that's fine. Um. Yes, match. Got it. Oh. That's all sting, yeah, yeah, alright. So I can invite anyone I want, that's... Okay, that, that's interesting. Alright, back. So you can play this with two people, alright. So... Ah, let's just have this selected. Um... So yeah, basically that... I can believe the game was called Game Room. But the thing about that game is, is the fact that, like, in order to play its games, other than the first set, you would have to pay, I don't know, like, less than $12 to unlock, uh, like, a couple different games per set, uh, and these that, and then, like, get, like, a, uh, like, had a trouble time updating, and, uh, it was fun for, like, the first year or two, and I just stopped playing it. So, I got this game to replace it, basically. Um... And, um, yeah, I say this game's better because, uh, this came out March 14th, 26, or March 24th, 2016, I'm sorry. Uh, today is the, well, today's 26th now, but, like, this is my recording, like, for recording, I say, I say the day before. Um, it's the 26th of March, 2016. Uh, the reason why I didn't do this day one is because I just didn't have time to. I have time to do it now. Uh, and this is actually available, uh, and this, you know, the current price on Steam is $19.99 pro price. However, for the one week, uh, for the one week sale, which goes off, um, March 31st, it's $16.99 US. That's pretty good for all the games you get, and the game, as you can see, works really well. Uh, uh, uh. Ah, wait, no, not that, nope. Ah, okay, just for six, got it. As you can see, there's layer boards, but here's all the games. Uh, we got Centipede, Crystal Castles, or Crystal Castles. Gravity, ah. Oh, Gravity, ah. Liberator. I kind of wish it was descriptions of the game. That'd be nice. And uh, you know, just to give you an idea, so well, just the uh, box art, Lunar Lander, which we'll be playing. And also, my favorite games on the Atari. This game, Major Havoc. I see. Millipede. Probably the sequel to Centipede. Missile Command. I'm also trying this today. 
Oh, we gave him Pong here. All right. Good old Pong. Oh, Pong the arcade machine. Interesting. Red Baron. Good game. <laughs> Basically, uh, when I say when I say praise of the game, I w that's the game I actually kind of know. They still looks interesting. Sprint two. I'm actually steering rolls and uh, uh, actually steering rolls and uh, you know, um, shifter, super breakout, tempest. Oh lords. Asteroids, or are we back? Oh. Sure, let's go. That was easy. Uh, tank, please. Okay, go. Ah, what's moving? Ah. Oh, okay. Wait, okay, let's switch over to keyboard and mouse. There we go. Gotcha. Alright, got it. Oh, I got me. Okay. Yeah, alright, doing it. <laughs> I'm using the keyboard right now. Oh, you know what? Let's use the D-pad. How about try that? Ah. Uh. Ah, oh, I tried breaking it. I tried reversing it last second. Alright. Yeah, this is combat, by the way. Although, combat, you know, you typically have a maze. Don't know why we don't have a maze in this one. Ah. Uh, but yeah, this is actually probably the first time I played uh, combat actually against someone, by the way. And it works really well, as you can see. Oh, that's a wall. Ah. Uh, by the way, when you're using a. Uh, oh, yeah, you can get through those walls. Okay. Oh, okay. Unless you get blessed through them, of course. Ah. Uh, okay. This guy's good, though. Oh, wait, can you control the shells? Oh, yes, you can! Okay, he's gonna move first. Oh, get moving. Ah! Don't get results! Yeah, I got him before he got me. <laughs> that was interesting combat. All right, let's do this again. All right, so you can move your shields after shooting at something. I should probably should no. Oh no. I think he won. No, not yet. I was gonna win the second or something. It's flashing. But yeah, I mean, you know, with that game room game that I talked about, that didn't have, you know, that didn't have multiplayer at all. So you couldn't do this in the in that game. All right, game over. All right, that's fine. All right, that, that was a good match. GG. GG, guy, GG. Uh, I mean, this game was on... This game was on... Uh, game... You know, this game was on... What do I... How do I say it? Um, uh, this game was on... Um, on the Steam front page for a little bit. Not for long. All right, back to what we're looking for. Asteroids, Asteroids Deluxe. Let's try that. That's another favorite, everyone's. Like Widow... I might play this game once. I might have it. Oh, by the way, uh, the Atari... That's what I wanted. Uh, by the way, the Atari I'm talking about was my parents' Atari, by the way. Uh, yeah, my parents are kind of gamers, kind of now. They play they play games every now and then. Air Sea Battle? Oh. Is it like... Is that like combat, but... Is that like the combat mode, but not... Asteroids for the Atari uh, 2600. Uh, Backgammon... Man, let's take some, uh, basketball, blackjack. Oh, let's look at the backs. Because there are models for. Mod oh, look, they even look worn. Interesting. Hey, this game's just so nice. Need to take two. 3D tic tac toe is that 3D tic tac toe is that like 3D chess from Star Trek or what? Oh, Warlords. 
Hello, one again. Video pinball. Video chess. Official edition, I see. Video checkers. Now remember, for the Atari 2600, anyone can make a game for it. It was not until the NES with Nintendo, well, and Nintendo in general, that decided to basically say, you know, like, first party, third party, second party. Um, because back then, you know, like, there was, like, there was no, think of it like Steam Greenlight, or yeah, think about like Steam Greenlight, where anyone could play a game on there. Uh, of course, it has to accept it in order to be on, put on Steam, you know, it has to, people have to say they like it, and then they have to accept it through Valve in order to be put on Steam, but still. Um, you know, but still, um, uh, but still, you know, those are still, any, anyone can buy a game on, you know, on Steam Greenlight, and it won't get accepted if it's bad, but if it is, but, you know, uh, but still. Um, same thing happened with Atari. Anyone can make an Atari game. Uh, which is why there are so many Atari games. Uh, and they're, you know, and, and they're, and they range so wildly. Uh, again, like I said, it wasn't until Nintendo who thought up of the system where in order to be put on the Nintendo system, you have to have, uh, you know, you have to be certified by, Ninten by Nintendo. Which, you know, which basically saved the game industry back in those days because Atari kind of helped with the uh, collapse of the game industry which happened in the 80s um, and Nintendo brought it back with the NES uh, which you know that, that's you know, that, you know, in the present day that's leading problems or at least the present day of 2016 anyway that's leading the problems with the uh, with Nintendo and third parties how they just don't like them and, and third parties don't like really don't really like Nintendo uh, so that's what led to it but yeah hello submarine commander you have back art Actually, it doesn't look that bad. I might have to try it. I wonder if there's a favorite option anywhere. Oh, there is a manual if you want to look at it. Uh, we'll look at the manual in a second. Let's see these, uh, stellar track. Steeple chase. Or steeple, uh, steeple chase. Starship. Okay, no, I could rather read that. Atari, Star Raiders. I wonder if uh, Elite is on there as well. I think Elite wasn't Atari. I think Elite. Uh, I think one. I think Elite one uh, when the Atari could be wrong though. Space War. Slot Racers. Slot Machine. Guy Diva Sintel Secret Quest Jay Murray Return to the Haunted House. Like I said, there's a hundred of these things. We should can see the full list on their Steam page, it's in the description. Again, this is also a damage box. No, the volleyball, and then we got Real Sports Tennis. Real sports soccer. Also known as oh, they also have football in the name as well, that's interesting. And then real sports football. Real sports boxing, uh, boxing. Oh yeah, look at that back. But yeah, I mean the selection, you know, has a hundred Atari games, which I highly doubt that's all the Atari games out there. Real sports baseball, basketball, baseball, then you got radar lock. That looks pretty cool. Uh, race, get to the thing, all right. Pod run. Pong sports. Outlaw. Off the wall. Okay. Night driver. Missile command. Nature golf. Millipede. Okay, once they 
uh, when we start seeing things we already saw, we're going to, uh, stop, uh, we're going to actually play a game, uh, Maze, Co I mean, uh, Maze Craze, which, I mean, we already played some combat, so yeah. Let me get ball. Home run. Haunted house. Hangman. Gravitar, or Graviar. Gravitar. Golf. This looks really nice, though. Football. How many games are in this game? I mean, I know exactly how many. It's a hundred of them. How many went through? How many left? Fatal run. That was like after. Double dunk. Dodge him. It's a falcon. What in the world is this? Uh, that doesn't really answer my question. It looks like a side scroller. Demons to diamonds. Crystal crossholds, and now we're at now we're at uh, the combats again. Combat two and combat one. And call breaker. Second story. Oh, look at the background. What, what's it? Oh, it didn't really matter. <laughs> Combat, all right. Call race, second story. The bench of shocker. Centipede. Casino. Special edition. And in Bama. I'll try that. Break out. I mean, I could do a series of just doing whatever. All right, I think that's all of them. That's all of them. Alrighty, so now what? Uh, which one should we start off with? Uh, maybe I can just type in the name. That'd be better. That'd be a nice feature. I have a missile command. How about that? Oh, yeah. I mean, I finally got to play combat online, which is really nice. Yeah, missile commander. Actually, before we go, what am I doing? Uh, before we go, let's actually look at the manual. Ah, the full game manual. That's pretty cool. Look at the whole series just looking at the manuals. Yeah, I remember the Atari didn't have AV cables. They had these things. Or, well, sometimes, it, for the most part, it did. Alright, that's pretty cool. Uh, how about... Where is... Where is... Uh, command... Uh, this combat? And also remember... The Atari controller. The thing that started it all. Was just... What can only be described as a joystick sticking out of a box... With a red button on the top left, as you can see up there. That is all you have. In the Atari game. And I'm using a Wii U Pro Controller. Which is overkill. In all sorts of ways. Alright. So let's see what this is about. Oh, not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet. Uh, we will look at the options first. Here are the controls. Actually, again, these are like joysticks. You know, this was before Control Stick. Control Stick started with the Nintendo 64. So, and Player 2. Ah, oh, you can have multiple players on controllers. Very good. Up. Up. Oh. <laughs> up, up. No, that makes no sense. Uh, lift. Up. Down. Right there. We go. That should be more accommodating. And fire side. That's fine. And then, okay, arrow keys. That makes sense. And space for the fire. Roger that. Game. Game selection. Oh, a yeah, classic way to do it. That would be cool. Oh, we can do the classic way. How about that? And this is a little menu later. And then display. There's already a display controls, which some people would find uh, lacking. Because you can only, you know, it's only full screen and your resolution as well as the art. As well as the various arts. As you can see, bins of art. And then vector game display, which we want to have on realistic. And I can change. I'm not quite sure what that is, but we're going to find out. And then audio. There's only three things to change. And back. Alright, let's do this. Alright. Alright. 
And hit, okay. Hit start, then we go, um... Okay, then we're in left of leap, I got power. We're just wondering. Ah, okay, that's if you want to go back to main menu. Yeah, that's fine. TV type. Now, if you don't know, if you never saw Terry before, the Terry actually had the ability to switch between black and white and color. In case, you know, depending on what a TV you had. We got difficulty. Um... Uh, oh, that's what that does. I never knew. Uh, player shot long is on that difficulty. Player shot short is on that. Uh, is on A and B. You got it. Right difficulty. Uh, both everyone on A. Um, game select. Uh, this should be interesting. Basically, on the artillery, all you, all you do with this, all you do with this lever is just down, down, down. Basically, down, 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 down. Just keep pulling it down until you get what you wanted. And here's the other game modes of combat. He'll play this for a little bit. Or not. And I hit game re oh, there we go. Oh, yeah, game reset the switch modes. All right, where are we? Oh, there we are. Talk at this. Oh, okay, this is, oh, this is multi, this is multiplayer, oh, well, oh, I'm guessing, I'm getting disoriented, we should play, it's okay, alright, yes, I, I spent many hours just doing that to myself, I'm going dead, but alright, Caramel, let's see what this does, where am I, oh, you have to get a game in order to, for it work, which is another lever they push down, alright, there we go, gotcha, oh, yeah, see, these games, you can go up and down, I swear there's a, Falling in there we go. Gotcha. Um, I'm pretty sure the single player games are under somewhere. Oh yes, sir. I just I just passed them. But yeah, here's what the normal tank combat looks like. That's the piece of the game. There we go. Ah, the ground should be bouncing. Oh, that's a long way away. It's interesting because the controls, you know, it's not a twin stick shooter. Uh, I remember, you only had the one stick. Um, uh, so yeah, there is no, uh, you know, like, it's not, it's not contextual. Up is up, or actually it is contextual. Forward is forward, and then the directions. So that's pretty cool. Wait, this guy, go get this guy. Yeah, I like using the uh, stick a lot. Because, you know, this was a stick game, this was not a D-pad game. As, you know, as silly as it might sound, going back this far, but it's not, you know, it's not that. Oh, by the way, this game gets over 100 frames easily. Uh, I guess, like, around 200, actually. Alright, let's uh, go back to Game Select. See if we can get the multi-playing, no, multi-playing game types. Uh, no, that's just the one. Oh, that's different. This thing actually different clouds, that's the two. Are they information, just wondering? Yeah, they're information. Oh, our, wait, hold the phone. Hold the phone, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get flat here. Okay, it's up, up. It is not, it's inverted. It is inverted. <laughs> uh, that's hilarious. All right, let's head back. It's far off, there we go. I like, I like when the playing controls on Atari, because, you know, they do have a good feel to them. All right, that was a combat, now let's take a look at, um, uh, where's Lunar Lander? Where is that? How about Radar Lock? Why not like Radar Lock? Let's just jump in and see what happens. Oh. Where now where we go? Where well, I have no idea. You guys on the leaf pad? Hold the phone. Let me mean real quick, I need to change the controls. Oh, my bad. Alright, left and right, there we go. Let's try this again. Oh, enemies, I got one! Get back here. Ah, 
Ah, got the first control, which probably means... Take that and game reset. Alright, so this again. I see you have gas, but I'm not going to try to turn around and get back to the airfield. Got one. Where this game is, I kind of like it. I mean, the game is really high quality. I mean, is this... Oh, all, all of it. Uh, is it, I mean, obviously, yeah, Tura has made this, right? Tura, Atari, I mean Atari. Uh... Yeah, Atari, Atari is the publisher and Code Mystic is the, it's the actual developers. Which I haven't heard of Code Mystic before. Ah, stack it. There you go. There you go. Who stacks to what's about this? You, yes, you have a good second. You next play as an that. Oh, we actually have bullets! That's good to know. Uh, it looks like this is an old type of flight sim. They got just crashing into the debris or what? Gotcha. Also, fuel. So I guess the goal is to get as much points as possible before running out of ammo. And you can see in the bomb right there, uh, you see guns, and that's my, um, uh, gun, that gun is my ammo cap. As you can also see, uh, there's this, like, half grid, which I believe that's my radar showing me where the enemies are. Yeah, well, I assume so. Yeah, I would assume that is. And then in the middle is, like, my, uh, like, a front-facing radar to the right of that would, I would assume would be my fuel. Oh, just stay there, right? It doesn't fall. I see something going up on my, uh, bar down in the middle. Could you be weaving? I won. I think we won. All right. Or something happened. All right, let's power off. Alright, there we go. I mean, this is a very faithful recreation of the games. Uh, new, uh, what should we look at? Um, Space War. No, let's look at another game that people would have heard of. Or people might remember. Uh, I think this wouldn't be that bad. I think I've heard of that before, I would say. I'm looking for what? Okay. Um, B? No, oh, not B. Oh, by the way, the only way to get back, the only way to get out of the, um, uh, the only way to get out of the game is by hitting escape or you saw there hitting B. Alright, so let's look at one of the, um, occurred, uh, a kid game games, which is, uh, well, let's do... Pong would be interesting. Red Baron. Which I think I've played that before somewhere. Not quite sure where. Oh, let's play some asteroids. How about, how about that? Alright, so this is the realistic lighting. Let's see what happens when I change it. Uh, as you can see, it's fully controller, um, it's fully controller friendly. Also, everything on, uh, everything on the control stick. Oh. Oh, whoa, default. How do I get defaults? Oh, right, we're, it's asteroid. There, you, the only thing you can do is go straight up and turn. All uh, right, I forgot. All right, so, um, sure, let's go. Ah, see, that is standard, all right. Ah, but I'm gonna go realistic. Not that.
Ah, okay, you can change how you can change your options of the game. Uh, okay, you know, in case you wanted to mess the options a bit, like make the game harder. Uh, put that. Okay, put that in easy. Uh, make the game harder, make the game easier, starting lives. Stuff you could never do with the original game. That's pretty cool. Alright, let's go. I think the goal is to kill all the asteroids. I actually, this may be the first time I ever played Asteroid. Oh! Well then, uh, I believe this may be the first time I ever played Asteroids. Oh, we can go through this. Ah. Okay, yeah, shields up. Oh, great. Someone that doesn't like us. Ow, I should have my shields up at that second. Alright. Oh, Asteroids on the side was a vertical uh, scroller. Uh, scroller. Uh, scroller. Oh, I'm taking the rocket last second. Oh well. Uh, the asteroids, everybody. Okay. All right. Now let's take a look. What is the asteroids? What are two? Well, oh, they're not the asteroids deluxe. That's indeed the asteroids deluxe. That was indeed the asteroid deluxe. Much better. I like it. The much more classic experience. Yeah, this is my first time playing asteroids. Pew 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 pew. It's so sad. Oh, that was at me. Oh, we got a bad guy. Oh, is there no shields? Okay. Okay, so that's asteroids, everybody. Warlords is what? Tempest. Let's break it out. Hey, stool. Um, no, let's do. Ooh, let's do a game I'm, I'm kind of good with. Uh, have a lunar lander. Train mission like gravity fiction for atmosphere control radiation. All right. Uh, oh, that was just a. Uh, okay, that was just. Um, that was just stuff. All right. Now, okay, in lunar lander, your goal is. Do you see those blinking uh, lines down there with the uh, with the with the uh, number then times next to them? Your goal is to land on those. In the Lunar Lander with all this stuff around. Okay, let's go over to that two over there. Okay, not go to the side. Ah, yes, you can. That was like my full thrust or something. Oh, I guess I must be my panic uh, go straight up thrust. This game was recreated, uh, I forgot what it's called, I have it, uh, Lunar Lander, something like that, um, I can get that, that in real quick. Alright, well, we're falling, uh, Lunar, Lunar Flight, yes, that's what it is, uh, yeah, Lunar Flight's basically someone that decided to make it modernized. No, not the panic button. I think it's the trigger, alright, let's go. I have a lot of people left that they're using the panic button that many times. All right, this is a training mission. There's friction. That would do it. That would indeed. Okay, let's land another three then. I mean, it's just like space. You know, you gotta worry about your momentum and stuff. Yeah, it's kind of amazing how uh real how similar these games can be sometimes. I want to go to two because it's easy to land, but this will work. I think we got it. No, I feel left. I'll slow down a bit. Oh, it does tell you your uh, vertical speed and all that. I know, I know. Oh, it zooms in. All right, that helps. I think we're going. I think we're good. And burn it. And to oh! Okay, two mile clear off the landing. Okay, I should have been more aggressive with my landing. All right, so this again. And as you can see, it's kind of randomly generated, kind of a little bit. Okay, let's go for that two again. And if we had a little bit more feel, wouldn't have been so, uh, you know, wouldn't have been so uh, touchy with it. 
Ah, uh, we could try that five. I can see the camera zooms in when you get closer. Okay, a little closer, do you think? Oh, we could try landing on the thing, couldn't we? There you are. Let me try landing on you. They're going that way. Hit the burn. Hit the emergency button. Actually, hit the emergency button. Go up a little bit more. There we go. I should do something. Then we're going to land slowly. We got enough fuel to last. Okay, moving over a little bit. Let's get... Uh, wait for it. Ah! Yeah, this game's, not for, this game's not very forgiving, as you can see. I hit a, a little too late. Alright. My ice be really good. A little fuel already. Oh, that's not good. All right. There he said. Oh, I can try for that four, but we're start. We're coming in a little hot. Um, try for the four. Try for the four. Try for the four. Sure, let's try for the four. Using uh, what would be a right trigger will be on R two. What is an R Z for me? Okay, coming a little. Come in a little slow. We get moving more to that side. Would you zoom in, please? That'd be helpful. There you go. Get nice and slow. We got this. One of the hardest things to land on. We're going to get it this time. I swear it. There we go. Hey, we did our third try. Which that should have been the first try if I had known my controls better. All right, so that five then. Remember, if it's to the left of the if to, if it's to the left of the screen, you know that's kind of hard because you're coming in at that angle. Yeah, let's keep moving. Actually, we're gonna that's actually pretty not bad. All right, let's try this. Get rid of my going to the right speed and now got slow no slowing down a bit. Um, like this. All right. Man, is this game nice. I only look at about the uh, about Atari Vault. It's just so perfect. You know, if you're looking for, you know, if you're looking to play older Atari, old, in the old Atari games, this is definitely the, uh, it's definitely the way to do it. Uh, should we do the emergency button? Yeah, emergency. It gets rid of my, uh, it gets rid of my uh, horizontal speed easily. <laughs> I'm tempted to just flip the thing over and burn downwards, but we don't really need to. Unless you want to get it down in in a uh, faster time, but still. Slow down. I have no idea how slow I need to be. And hopefully don't crash. There we go. Your trip is one way. Oh, all right. We use that much fuel. Oh, you landed hard. Oh, okay. So 40 is bad. That's good to know. All right, but I think that'll be it for this video as we're out of time. Um, so yeah, what do I think of Atari Vault? I think it's for $19.99. You know, it's a great way, even if you just want one of these games or you just want a couple of these games. This is definitely worth Whatever, you know, it's definitely worth uh, that, mu that much. And let's look at, uh, let's look at combat. Uh, it's definitely worth, you know, it's definitely worth $99.99. And of course, you can always get on sale for even cheaper. So yeah, it's definitely worth it. Um, you get so many games and all, and all the games, you know, I can't say for all the games, but you know, all the games I played, they played perfectly. I was using the Wii U Pro controller, of course, which is disguised as an Xbox controller. But you can also probably use, um, you can also probably use the keyboard pretty easily. Um, and I mean, I mean, like, the only real problem this game has is lack of options and, yeah, lack of options. For the game itself, you know, for Atari Vault, but for the entire, well, all the Atari games, they have all the options of the original. You have even more options and I'll play them. You want to play them, you want to use the classical menu or do you want to, uh, or do you want to do, um, you know, or do you want to, uh, do the mutter menu. Also, there's a neat, there's an added feature, which I haven't, you know, which is rare, is the ability to play multiplayer. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the first combat, you know, first time I've seen combat where you can actually play multiplayer online with it. So yeah, that's pretty nice. I mean, also, uh, let's take real quick. Um, you, PS4 controller, get over here. Uh, where in the world is my PS4 controller wire? 
that would be it. Oh no, that was not be it. Okay, that'd be the PS4 wire, but not the right wire I wanted. That was doing that was connecting something else. Um, got it. No, where will that be? Controller. I just had it. Oh, I just had it. How about that? How about that? All right. I mean, I, we know you can play with keyboard uh, with a uh, controller and keyboard, which is fine. Uh, but how about more controllers? I just put, plug in my keyboard. How about that? Um. There you go. Not really working. All right, let's try the Xbox controller then. I know that would work, but I don't know where the wire is at all. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you've been wanting to play an Atari game on uh, on Steam and been wanting to play it, oh, it's starting to storm. Uh, and you've been wanting to play it online, I mean, of course, most of, you know, a lot of these games, the more popular ones, have been re have been remade on Steam and even on, especially on the Xbox. Um, but you know, they just. You know, this game, for $19.99, you get all the games. All of them. Oh, well, not all of them, but most of them. 100, no, at least, you know, at least 100 of them. So, yeah, or at least at most, at most 100 of them. So, yeah, I don't know where my Xbox wire is. Ah, there you are. No, not. Actually, maybe. No, no. You don't know where that's gone off to, but yeah. Uh, actually, I got a, I got a fast fate check. Yep, <laughs> I got it with the keyboard. All right, so okay, I got an idea. Um, power difficulty. Uh, oh, off the tournament. I even saved the progress. They saved where we were. That's pretty nice. Oh, I do wish there was an option to type in what you wanted, and I wish there was an option to favorite stuff. That'd be that'd be really helpful. All right, we want controls, and we want player two to be. Oh, using the case. That's unnecessary. I just think that. Okay, there we go. That should work. Yeah, let's play real quick. All right, that is, okay. Uh, this is player one. Actually, we're gonna switch games real quick. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, actually, got a faster way to do this. That is, do it the modern, do it the game's way. Um, uh, no game. There we go. That should work. Oh, can you not do it this way? Oh, okay, that just adds to it. Okay, that's fine. Make sure you miss that. So we're going to have to do, we're going to have to do it the hard way, aren't we? Uh, where in the world am I supposed to be going over here? All right, let's try this again. I want tanks. Oh, there you go. There's tanks. All right. Oh yeah, reset. Right there we go. All right, that is controller. This is keyboard. Yeah, yeah. Oh wait, I can't. I must have more hands. Can we just walk around the corner? Oh yes, we can. Yeah, I got myself. All right, so you can you can however you want your uh whoever you know however you want to play your one person and two person you could either have two controllers or you could use keyboard and mouse or you just have it on one keyboard the classic style um whatever you want that's local uh you know that's local co-op as what it's called or split screen co-op or just split screen in this case so yeah i think this thing's pretty awesome because you know 
you can see some of these games, you know, like uh, like Lunar Lander, or, you know, you can see some of these games go for uh, like like seven dollars by themselves, or at least they used to anyway, in like the in like Xbox 360 Arcade and Steam. Um, however, you can get them all. You can get hundred games, popular and unpopular, both on both in arcade cabinets and on the Atari 2600 itself for 19.99. That's really nice, and the game works really well, and it just you know. It's a really, you know, it's a really, really, really good collection. Uh, anyone that wanted, you know, even if you just wanted one of these games, they all will be worth it. Um, because you can even play on online multiplayer, which is rare for a game, but for a collection like this. So, yeah, uh, it is definitely, definitely uh, worth it. So, uh, and, and I recommend it. So, um, yeah, that'd be a for this video. Thanks for watching. And, you know, for too long. Uh, that'd be it for this video. Thanks for watching. I really do appreciate you guys watching all this video. It's not to me. Also, not to me if you leave a comment. Thank you for me if you want me to get serious out of this game, which I can certainly do. Just play a bunch of different games and see how far I can get on some of them. Or maybe just play a bunch of different games. Or even make a series where I play every single one on one of these games for like 10 minutes or something. Uh, maybe even play some more combat and multiplayer. Who knows? All right. But anyway, I also appreciate tips on how I'll play Atari Vault in general. You know, Tiffany Steam is coming to be a little tip. And um, that'll be it for this video, and I guess, see you in a second.